In a time of little faith, this man believed. The substance of his belief was that to grow to be a whole man, a boy must have his roots in faith. And on this, he founded a school. It began here, in this house, a decade ago. And the old house welcomed the young ones who came to it. Its tired rooms that had been quiet for so long were suddenly shaken into exciting life again. And the Rabbi Rosen, with love and wisdom and devotion, breathed a spirit into his school. So, when the Rabbi died, the dream lived, and out of this one man's vision, Carmel College grew. Those who followed on moved on, and around the warm heart of the old house, the new school buildings have risen. new laboratories. All these donated by those with vision clear enough to see ahead along the path that the Rabbi Rosen pointed out. And in the final phase of its development, Carmel will stand proud out of a lovely garden. That a boy might grow to be a whole man, his roots must be bedded in faith. But faith and knowledge are not the perquisites of privilege. Carmel's lap is wider than this. What began as an experiment is now the reality, and if the reality is to continue in the image and likeness of Rabbi Rosen's dream, Carmel must continue to be a place to which all boys may come. A place in which all boys, without regard to wealth or status, may have, by means of free or assisted scholarship, at least the opportunity to live and to learn. Carmel College is a school it is a boys public school. Carmel is rather special. It is a school for Jewish boys. It has taken the best of the English public school system and linked it with the best of the Jewish pioneering spirit and sense of community. The result is Carmel College. Some years ago the principal, Rabbi Koppel Rosen, fired enough people with the idea of starting a public school for Jewish boys that they were able to open in this building. Surrounding them were ex-RAF huts which were used for classrooms. The school started as a wonderful idea, some would say an ideal. Carmel College has grown in only 13 years, so that it is now a school for 300 boys from all over the world. But the enthusiasm for the ideas behind the school is as strong as ever. Carmel is not so much a school as a community, a community where boys learn lessons, achieve the highest academic standards, and where they become imbued with the Jewish way of life against the day they leave. Here is one of the boys now at Carmel, to give you some impression of his life at the school. My name is Ian Panto. I'm 15 years old and have been at Carmel College for two years. Before that, I was at a grammar school in Brighton. I am studying uh, English, language, 
English literature, um, math, um, history, Latin, French, and um, economics. It's the um, Union Society, and they meet every Saturday. I am a member. It's purely for the fifth and sixth formers. There is a junior, li uh, junior union, which are solely for the second and third forms. For instance, uh, last week's um, debate was, um, this house abhors civil disobedience as a means to any end. The motion was carried forward. The library is excellent. And they've got the fiction library and the reference library. And the reference library is kept in silence the whole time. And if one wants to work, one can work there. And the books there are really good. I mean, you've got the history books, English books, any book which you need is in the library. Of course, there's the loggia in the school where we have every newspaper. Um, and of course, we have magazines. And every day I do go and uh, read the papers. I'm captain of chess, and I take an active, very active part in the game. And I do my best to um, help all the other boys in the school to, um, well, to take an active interest in it. Oh, yes, it's, it is very simple to go up to the headmaster and simply knock on his door, and of course you'll hear him yell, come in. But um, it is very simple, really. You can go up to him and tell him any of your troubles, and he'll be very, very kind to you, and he'll, he'll really understand you and help you in any way which is possible. You feel at ease when you're in his company. And you can, of course, straight away tell any troubles that you have. Laboratory for biology lessons. Again, in one of the original hutted classrooms. This small group of junior boys is examining some anatomical specimens under the supervision of the biology master. Stop at chess. Carmel College is on the banks of the Thames. And the school is proud of its rowing successes, gained in competitions with other schools, and also at Henley Regatta. The first eight is a dedicated group of boys, here seen training in a fine November drizzle closely followed by the four, being encouraged, not pushed, by the school's launch. The other principal sports are cricket, tennis, basketball, and football, as you can see here. The spectator suffering agonies is Rabbi Rosen, a keen footballer himself. Now this is a PT class, dressed in football clothes and boots, doing their training and exercises on the playing field. The reason is that at the moment, Carmel College has no gymnasium as the old one became unsafe and had to be demolished. Initiate that some of the old buildings are now inadequate for the number of boys at the school. At this moment, there is a huge building program underway. The Development Committee and the Board of Governors hold themselves responsible for raising the funds. The present phase of the building program will cost 250,000 pounds, and even while the work is in progress, most of the money still has to be raised. Over the next few years, Vast sums must be found to complete Carmel College. In the last few years, Carmel has grown. More boys have come to the school. Many more have applied. There are boys on the waiting lists ten years ahead. Whose names and how many can be on this board in the future? Carmel College extends an open invitation to all of you to come and visit the school. Come and talk to the principal talk to the boys, walk in the grounds and feel the air of excitement and enthusiasm for the future. When you come, you'll be able to see the work in progress. Work designed to make a school for the future leaders of the Jewish community. Carmel College is our gift to the future generations. <laughs>